the conflict in Ukraine continues on and with thousands injured and killed, a prosthetic company in Northwest Ohio is trying to help. Yeah, a specialist from Perry Prosthetics in Perrysburg. They spent more than two weeks in Ukraine. And Steve Iwanek, he caught up with them today. And it sounds like they've helped a lot of people in this, Steve. They really have, Jeff Kaley. Nine prosthetic arms to eight different people amongst that two-week span. Chris Perry and Michael Schroeder are prosthetists who got the chance to visit the war-torn country a couple weeks back. And it was an experience that they told me was eye-opening. A part of the world in need of some light. If you're not sure how how important this is, how grateful we should be for this, take a look at what's going on in the world. The need noticed from halfway across the world by Chris Perry. He lost his right leg in a motorcycle accident when he was only 16 years old. Now a prosthetist and founder of Perry Prosthetics in Perrysburg, helping thousands of people. In my career, I'd say it's close to 3,000. But there's always a mission to do more. Perry and fellow prosthetist Michael Schroeder recently went on a 16-day trip to Lviv in Ukraine, helping amputees from the war. It's definitely a good experience for us to go do that and, and just help some more people. Schroeder specializes in things like hands and arms. While at the Superhuman Center, a prosthetic rehab center in Lviv, the two helped eight people get nine prosthetic arms. For them, it's just the start. The people coming into that center were coming with multiple injuries, not just arms and legs, um, reconstruction surgeries. And I mean, it was nothing to see some, you look around, there's people there missing multiple limbs. Nine new arms in just 10 days of work. Not an easy process, even for experts. We worked some long days. Um, the people there were very grateful to have us there. The, the other professionals there, the administrative staff, our interpreter, they catered to what we needed to get that work done. Eight now better, but there are plenty left waiting. When Perry said they returned home last week, there were still 280 people in need. A mission to help that's far from over. It was definitely a collaboration, um, and I'd like to go back. It would definitely be beneficial to them for, for us to come back and, and help some more. Now, the two were flown over by Otto Bach, a tech company from Germany who specialize in prosthetic elbows, and then Ether Biomedical, based in Poland, paid for their stay, and they specialize in prosthetic hands. No official decision has been made yet for another trip over to Lviv. Reporting in studio, Steve Iwanek, WTOL.